What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna continue our progression of working off of a style guide in Squarespace. And we're gonna talk about writing theme specific CSS for individual color sections in Squarespace 7.1. So as I mentioned in the intro, this is a progression on our last video, how to start a Squarespace site from a style guide. If you wanna purchase the style guide, you can do so on my shop, it's only $10. Uh, or I also uh, kind of walked through the whole style guide in the last video and you can build one out for yourself, um, whatever works best for you. So today we're gonna be looking at our images and cards and we're gonna be talking about writing theme specific CSS. So. In the video, I talked about how I had written CSS to give my image card uh, image cards a background color. Um, and it looks good in this one section, but in my style guide, I was able to see that it doesn't work for themes with darker background colors. So for specific theme sections, it the text is white because it's against a dark background. And so I need to change the background color for just these specific uh, color theme sections. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and look at the structure of the page. And we'll also look at the CSS that I've written thus far. So in my style guide, I have a page that has every single different section color theme on it. So we start from the normal like white color and we work our way all the way down to white bold, light minimal, light bold, dark minimal, dark bold, etc cetera, etc cetera. so i have every single different page section here and if i right click on the page and click inspect i can show you the different classes that get added to the section depending on the color theme that it has so for this normal like white color section if we find the section in the html we can see that on this section container it gets a class of white now if we go down to the white bold color section so we'll just go down to the next section in the html we can see that white bold color sections get a class added of white bold. So then we can go down to the next one. We have the light minimal color theme. The light minimal color theme gets a class of light added to the section. And then light bold gets a class of light dash bold added to the section. So we can see that we can use the color theme class that gets added to the section to then write specific CSS for specific color themes. So I have a blog post where I've written out the class that gets added depending on the color theme that the section has. Now this is my alternate logo with transparent header blog post, and I'll probably link a separate blog post for this tutorial into the description below. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out the blog post attached to this video, and I'll also have the different color themes and classes listed there. So what we can do is we can use these classes to limit the CSS that we write to specific sections. So uh, right now the color theme looks good for our light minimal color style. Let's go through all the color styles and look at the card backgrounds. And we can plan out what we want our cards to look like depending on the color style. So on our white and white bold color styles, we want the card background to be anything that's a light color that's not white. So let's make it like a light gray color style. Um, so I'll just open up notepad here and we can kind of plan out what we want each section to look like. So white and white bold, we want the background to be gray. Uh, this looks good already with the CSS that we currently have. The dark minimal color style, uh, let's go ahead and make the dark and dark, dark minimal and dark bold we want those backgrounds to be black on this color theme let's make it this blue color um so on black and black minimal we want it to be blue then i'll go all the way down to the bottom whoops sorry on black minimal got to get my naming convention right and on black bold we want it to be blue. And then on our accent dark, I um, actually like it. On accent dark, it's fine being white. Um, and on accent light, I think it's fine being white also. 
Okay, so these are the color specific CSS uh, themes that we have to write CSS for. So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. So right now the default is it's just gonna be white on every section. So let's use our classes from my blog post to write section specific CSS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this CSS down below. Uh, and this will be our white color theme CSS. Okay, so this is gonna be for our white and white bold color themes. So if I go to my blog post, I can see that white and white bold gets a class of white and white dash bold respectively. So now we can come down here and I'm gonna target both of those classes. So I'll do white comma white bold and I'll open up some curly brackets. And now we can just paste this background image background targeting into this section. And now we can change this background color to whatever we want. So uh, we had said we we're gonna do a, like a light gray color. So I'll do hashtag EEE, -E -E, which is a light gray color. And if I go all the way up to the top, then we'll see that just the, in just these white sections, the image background color is now gray. But in my original sections that uh, I wrote the CSS for, it's still white. So now we need to do the next level, which is the dark minimal and dark bold. So this will be dark color theme CSS. Make sure that's a comment. And now I can find the classes for the dark minimal. So we get dark and dark bold. So I'll do dot dark because we're targeting a class, comma, dot dark bold. Open up our curly brackets copy this CSS here. And now for this color theme, we want it to be black. So we'll do the hex code for black, which is hashtag 000. And now if I look in these sections, the image card background is black. So finally, uh, we need to write our black minimal and black bold stylings. So if I go to my blog post, we can see black minimal and black bold get dot black and dot black dash bold. So now we'll do black color theme styles. And we'll do dot black comma dot black bold. Open up our curly brackets. And just like before, we'll paste this image card CSS in here. And now we want it to be this blue background color. So I'm just going to steal that from this section. And voila, we have a nice blue background for these image cards. And so uh, the reason that we're, we're writing this theme specific CSS as part of our style guide is that now whenever we use an image card in this particular color theme on any page of our website, this CSS is going to apply because the CSS is specific to the color theme and to the image card block. So it's a, the style guide is a really great way to manage all your styles because you can set up the, these kind of like global themes that automatically will apply to every different page on your site. So that is how you write color theme specific CSS. Again, I'm gonna have a blog post with all of these different classes, so it'll make it much easier for you to just know what classes you have to use to target different elements depending on the color theme. So hopefully this gave you some ideas for how to write CSS in a more global way. So you're not just writing CSS for individual elements, but you're writing CSS for elements based on their color theme. And so it'll automatically apply to those elements all across your site. If you haven't yet, go ahead and pick up a copy of the style guide. It's a great way to start every new site and organize your styles from the very beginning. It makes developing on Squarespace much, much, much easier. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.